Welcome back to my channel. We're shopping again. We are shopping online today. We're shopping at my favorite store, Amazon. It's my favorite. And the reason why Amazon is my favorite is because I can search out exactly what I'm looking for. So rather than going to home decor websites or going out shopping, you know, out at a brick and mortar, because I'm such a picky shopper, I'm specifically looking for certain items. And I always wondered, what is it about Amazon that really, like, what do I really love? about it and I was thinking 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 and because Amazon also has trendy items that lots of different people share but I really do search out pieces that I'm specifically looking for for my home or for a project and that's what I love about Amazon anyway this video is going to be another Amazon shop with me I have a ton of stuff in my cart that I haven't quite pressed purchase yet that I figured let's talk about them let's go over them see what you like see maybe you guys can help me make some decisions on some things that I'm looking at. So let me pull up my Amazon. Okay, let's see here. I am wanting to go through my home and do some refreshes, but I, I love so much of my home decor, but I do want to add in some new pieces. So I was looking on Amazon actually last night and just kind of digging through. I shared a collage not too long ago on the community page and over on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following on Instagram, highly recommend. I have been super active over there. I mean, every day almost posting reels. I have shared some things recently that are some new items that are super exciting, like these scalloped woven tray set. So what I love about these is I love that they made the handle out of the scallop. It just looks elevated. It looks like they paid attention to that detail. You get two trays. Also, I don't mention prices here on the channel because I've done that in the past. And then when some of you would go click the link to the item, the prices on Amazon change, which is the most annoying thing. I know I, I do not like that, but that's why I stopped sharing prices. If you want to check out what the price is, everything is linked down below as always, including my outfit. So everything will be linked there, but this woven trace that really caught my attention. I have seen some others being shared and I never loved them enough to purchase, but these ones, I think I'm going to get these. I love them. I love that they add a little bit of a feminine touch. I definitely lean a little bit more masculine when it comes to my style. But if you've seen some of my past Amazon shop or not Amazon shop with me is I've been looking at ways to add a little bit more delicate details in there. And I think that these are so so good and I love that they come in a set of two because I can move them throughout my house. So I'm working on a pantry makeover. It actually was supposed to go up when this video is going up. However, it's not finished yet. We are stripping back a piece of furniture that's in there and it's just taking a little bit longer. But for that project, I took a vintage mirror that I have. I just don't know if it's the vibe. So when I was on Amazon last night, I found two mirrors that I love. The first, well, one I really love and the second is like, a, like a little bit of a dupe. This mango wood black mirror looks so vintage to me. It looks like something I have seen at vintage stores. In fact, I have a frame that looks almost identical to this. It's oval, but like the same kind of like wood vibe. I love this. I want this for my home. There's only a couple left in stock, but I want this. I want this so much. I think that this is so good. And I love mango wood. I think mango wood is beautiful. I just, I love this. It's very timeless. It's very old world. I absolutely adore this, but I did find one that was a little bit of a better price as a little bit more detail as well. And that's this one here. So this one, like I said, is a more affordable option. And I think it's great. I think it'd be really pretty in that space. So it's a little bit less uh, ornate than the one that I was originally going to put in there, which I think vibes with the space a little bit more. It'd be a pantry, working with the wire baskets, things like that. But I might get that other one for my house. I like it. I like that a lot. I really like it. Anytime I share a vintage shop with me, antique shop with me, thrift shop with me, I always share Crocs. I love a croc. I love them for putting your kitchen utensils in. I love them for planting a pot. I love them to put my um, paintbrushes in. Anything like that, I love a croc. Now I found these Ohio Stoneware Crocs and actually these are a good price. Obviously they're not vintage, but some of those vintage crocs get 
up there in price. I mean like really, really up there. Now, sometimes when you look at these first glance, you might think it's a little bit farmhouse, but personally for me, I like to mix different styles. I feel like it feels very collected. It feels very just like safe and inviting. And I think that Crocs work with so many different home styles. So I don't know, try it out. If you didn't like the um, little piece on the front, the, uh, <laughs> what's that called? The emblem? Is that the right word? I'm not sure. Turn it around and you're good to go. I don't know. I like this. I thought it was really pretty. When I saw it, I about screamed. I just was super excited about that one. Now, a few years ago, it was early, early on in my channel, I had found a ribbed water carafe at CB2. It sold out, never came back, and it was very popular for a minute there. So many people were asking me where it was from, and I always tried to find dupes, and nothing ever got close enough. This is close. Not perfect, but it is close. So this little ribbed water glass I think is so beautiful. I love these for a bathroom. I love them for a bedside table. I love them for putting on a tray at the end of a bed. In fact, this would be really pretty inside the scalloped woven tray that I just mentioned because it does lean a little bit more masculine, but then that one's a little bit more feminine. Mixing those two textures I think is so beautiful. Such a good water carafe. I love it. I don't need another one. It's in my cart though in case I need to get it for, you know, a project. I really love this one. Another item that I have been kind of obsessed with lately is easels. I have a few and I absolutely love them, especially being a painter myself. I love having different easels to display artwork. I have purchased a few and I feel like you can always use more. Having a collection of items, even if it's the same item, to me feels very, it's comfortable, but in a good way. Because if something gets, you, you get like where you wanna rotate your decor, but you still want the same look, just having that item, but just in a different shape or in a different look or a little bit of a different detail. I know that might seem a little bit boring, but that's how I like to decorate. I find a lot of comfort in my home to, to have collections. So I found these easels and they come in a set of two and they are a great price, great price for the set of two. They're in my cart, they come in black and they come in gold. Do they come in silver? Let me look. No, just black and in gold. I wanna get the black. I love these. I love that they're a little bit different than what I have. They have like a little lip that you can put a book in, maybe a uh, cookbook in or whatever. You could put these in an entry entryway. You could put these really anywhere. What I love about set of two things like this, even though they're in a different size, you can always use one as a gift to give to a friend. I love when things come in, in sets because it gives you the opportunity to gift those items, but you still gotta keep on yourself. <laughs> this flatware, I gotta say, I feel like is a little bit pricey, but I love this. I love this. I'm getting a little sick of having our sterling plated flatware because you have to polish it so much. These are in an antique silver, so I think it's just made to look silver. But my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about this set is the small fork is a three prong, which I have never seen really at all at my regular stores that I shop at. And I just think that's so unique and so different. And when you are someone who collects home decor and it's really important to you, having just that tiny little detail, maybe most people wouldn't think about, they do when they're at your house. They'll be like, oh, this fork is interesting. It has three prong, but they wouldn't think that when it's not something that's top of their mind. So to me, really fine tuning the details in your home, I think just really adds so much more interest, so much more excitement to, to the decor. So I have these in my cart and I really, really want them. Like I said, they're a little bit pricier than I want to spend at the moment, but they're in my cart. I'm thinking about them. I want them. It's been a little bit since I've bought some glassware, but there has been some glassware that's really catching my attention and I'm really trying to be like, okay, wait a minute. Do you need it? Maybe narrow it down to one. <laughs> so I have a couple in my cart. First being these double rocks glasses. Again, I like that it has like some curves to it, adding a little bit more of a feminine touch. It's this cut crystal. It's beautiful. It's sparkly. I love these. These are so, so beautiful, but also so handsome at the same time. And then I also have, ooh, it's getting dark. 
so sorry, the clouds are in and out. We have some rain going on here in Arizona, which is much needed, but I'm, I'm just gonna keep on going. So these, little rocks glasses are much more modern, which I love mixing even ornate or mixing styles. I think that that's what makes a home so interesting and so inviting and comfortable. So I like these. I felt like these were something I don't have in my collection and something that I could easily add and it adds some interest to to my barware. And then I have two more. See, I told you I have a lot. These coops are almost identical to ones that I have from Crate and Barrel, pretty sure. These ones are almost identical. I just, I don't know. They're just really pretty. I don't even know why I have them in my cart because I can see mine right here and I'm looking at them and they're literally the same. You do not need those, Brandy, but they're really pretty. So if you've been looking for some like this, <laughs> These are a really great option. And then the last glassware that I have in my car is something very cute, very girly, very like young and flirty, I guess you could say, but I still think these are kind of fun to have because these are really great for maybe outside dining or Galentine's these would be really great for, but they are these vintage glass stemless highball and they have that scalloped edge, which is kind of flowery, gorgeous. These are so pretty. I did see these come in all sorts of colors. I wanted them just in clear and it took me a minute to find them, but I found them. They also come in a uh, wine glass too, which I think is really cute, especially for Valentine's, Galentine's, you know, anything like that. Okay, I gotta go back up because I skipped a couple things. Oh, I do have another set of flatware in here, which I love a good resin flatware that kind of gives that bone look. I just think that these are gorgeous. Again, very timeless. That's another reason why I forgot I didn't get the other ones is because I saw these and I loved these as well. I just think that these really add a elegant look, but also very casual. Linens, I, I'm i always looking up linens. I want the best linen collection that I can find. I love love mixing out linens and using different linens for different dinners, things like that. So these stonewashed linen, French flax, striped napkins are so good. I love a stripe. I love a stripe, especially against like raw woods. I just, I love it. And for outside seating, love. Okay, this one's a little bit like different for me, but this olive oil little pitcher or can or whatever. I can't tell. Do I like this or do I not like this? Let me know. What's your opinion on this? I can't decide. I felt like it looks very fancy and very old world. I'm a little stuck on that one. I'm not sure if I'm I'm super in love with it. Now, if you missed my recent bathroom makeover, I layered some trays. I had a white marble tray with a black metal tray on top of it. But while I was in there, our countertops are really dark. I may have mentioned this black marble tray to you guys in the past, but I'm mentioning it again because I'm thinking about getting it for our bathroom just to almost hide the fact that there's so much uh, contrast between those two. I almost was thinking maybe having the countertop dark, then a dark marble tray, then a light tray on the inside. Let me know your thoughts. I have it in here, I haven't decided, but I do really like this. I love black marble. I just think it's so sleek and just so handsome. So love that. Also in here, I have this enameled first aid box, which I think is a metal first aid box. I almost got this for the pantry makeover for my friend because she has a lot of, it's more of like a utility room for them because they have their washer and dryer in there. They have like a console table in there. So I thought this could be really cool in there, but I didn't get it for her. However, I have it in my car for me. <laughs> I love this. I just thought it was like, what a good way. It's like obvious that it's a first aid kit, but it's also like chic and pretty and like I would wanna have out on display. I don't know, I liked it, I thought it was cool. By the way, my vintage clay pot is on sale right now, so I thought I would mention that even though I have shared that with you guys so many times. It goes on sale from time to time. It's on sale right now as I'm filming this video, so if you've been wanting to get more of like your legit clay pot, this is a great one. I use it all the time, I have it in my bathroom, Room. I use it in my bathroom makeover refresh. It's what I have all the baby's breath in. It is 
it is worth every penny. It is so beautiful. I love it. Now, that being said, I also have a dupe. I personally don't always love buying dupes because then I end up wanting the real deal anyway because I, I can see a quality difference in like a look. But I know that some of you, that doesn't bother you as much. To me, I'm like, it's not the clay. If that doesn't matter to you, this is a wonderful, wonderful clay pot dupe. It is a handmade black vase terracotta. So it is actually like, seems like it's a really, really good one. And it has the three handles. I think that this one looks really, really pretty actually. And one that really excites me. What I really like about this one is it's matte. And that to me is gonna give it more of that like legit vintage clay pot look. So I really like this one. It also reminds me of the one that I just shared in a home goods shop with me that I loved as well. So I might be coming around. This is a very, very great one. And it's a really, really good price. I am gathering some items for our back patio. I have made a back patio, I think almost every year, like a back patio refresh. And this year I really wanted to put us some outdoor seating where we could maybe watch the sunrise, do a little bit of journaling, but also do some dining out there. So I found these bamboo folding chairs that we could put away so they don't take up too much space. But what originally made me look for these is I was watching a Homeworthy episode and one of the designers on there mentioned having these and she had one in her room and I thought they looked so classy. These come in a set of four. I think they have different options, but I love these. I've mentioned in the past, I have almost like an old world European vibe to my space, but I also really love like a tropical like Cancun Tulum vibe as well. I just really love that whole feeling. I always struggle trying to describe my style, but these definitely give me vacation in my backyard vibe. I know that I've shared this horn box in a collage. I don't know if I've shared it on like a shop with me. If I did, I'm sorry. If I didn't, it's still on my cart and I want it, I still want it. I just filmed a coffee table styling reel for Instagram and I have a horn box on there right now. It's a bit like, like out there. It's kind of, it's bubbly. It's kind of loud. I got off Amazon. I'll put a picture on the screen, but this one's a much more sleek, a little bit more versatile, I think. So this one's in my cart. It says there's only one left. Oh shoot. Should I get it? <laughs> I love this one. I think it's really beautiful. I love it. I'm almost done. I have three more items. So I have a really big candelabra, which I felt like feels like a little bit more of that like gothic style, which is gorgeous. So I, this one's been in my cart for a long time. I love this. I think that this could be really cool. Oh, it's gold. It looked black. I like that better, like the brass. But this could be really cool in an entry or even on a dining table if you don't use it too, too much. Such a cool piece. I really, really like that one. But I also found this other one that is a little bit more paired back. It's just definitely a little bit more in, I guess paired back is the best word I could describe it, is this other candelabra that I have. It's a little bit, has a little bit less detail, but still a lot of detail. It's another one I have have in my cart that I'm really eyeing right now. And I just, I'm into the candelabras, especially with the bow trend with the bows on there. So pretty. And then the last item that I'm going to mention in this video are these set of two brass frames with a stand. And I really love having real pictures in my home. I don't know if you can see, but right here, I have two pictures stacked of my husband and I, when we were in Paris, we got some photos taken and I love looking at those. Although I love a very, curated home and I love it really nice and I want vintage artwork. To me, a home ha with, you know, pictures of your life is also very important. So when I saw these, I thought, wow, what a really pretty frame to put on, whether it's a desk or open shelving or an entry table or really anywhere in your home. But they had just a little bit more detail than your average just frame or like gold frame, I guess I sh should say. I loved these. I love that they, you know, go on the stand. You could probably take them off and hang them up or, you know, whatever. They feel very versatile, which I really, really loved and just a little bit unique and different from what I normally see. All right. I think that is it. That is all that I have in my cart right now, aside from a lot of beauty items. <laughs> Let me know which item was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.